Hello, welcome to my video of the right to English tutorial. Today is going to be about Parker Monastery. Short level, but a couple of things to talk about. First, you want to do some running jumps. You don't care about this fight because it's none of our business. And you want to perform a corner bed. There is two ways of doing this. So, first, a simple corner bed. So, you sidestep to the right of the tile. And you want to line up. So, how do you line up? You look at Lara's left hand and you want her skin to almost disappear. Like here. Maybe a bit more. Yeah, here. So right here, you can barely see her skin. You can see one pixel of skin here and there. That means this is the right position. Well, at least the right lineup. Position is determined by the side step. And what you want to do is you want to save and you want to just do a standing jump. And when you will land, you will hold forward and you will go into the wall. And when you will go into the wall, you're going to hold, uh, you're going to hold, you don't need to hold it, sorry. You're going to press roll when you will enter into the wall. So you just jump, forward, roll, and you glitch up. So again, jump, of course. Thank you, monk. You jump, forward, roll, and you glitch up. So this is simple. Oh my god. Fuck off. <laughs> so that's basically it. That's what you have to know. You have to know that this is not that precise. I mean, that position will work, for example. Well, that lineup will work. Uh -huh. This is not that precise, but you want to be really close from Lara's and disappear. That's the purpose. You have to know that you can do this glitch quicker, like this, for example, by just jumping and just pressing forward, and you will glitch up. Uh -huh. This is a bit faster. But this is riskier because you can fail it. And if you fail it, you just die. So this is reprint. And as you will see, you can see that I lost a lot of health with that strat. But with the other strat, with the lineup I showed you, you will realize that I don't lose that but oops, that much health. Here I, I pressed roll too early, that's why it didn't work. Oops, of course I do the wrong one. <laughs> Please, not wrong. Come on, Why, what did I do wrong here? So, standing jump, forward. It's because I didn't roll at the right time, I guess. I, 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 I waited too much before rolling. Yeah, that's it. So as you can see, my health is a bit better than the other version. It doesn't really matter for this level because you will be able to do this level maybe less no matter what strat you use but just in case if you want to be safer you do all you want and the other way of doing this glitch is to do a shelf corner bug so how to do a shelf corner bug when they are fighting generally what's going to happen is you're going to jump from here from this tile to land on the last one and you want to aim at the right of a corner and you want to let a little bit of space between a right foot and the end of a tile so here it's good for example as you can see there is some space and it's good and then you just go this angle and you jump forward and you automatically glitch so you have to know that this is relatively precise, so if you are too much left like this, you will stumble. And if you are too much right like this, you will go through the wall and nothing will happen. So this is really... You, you do the shelf corner only if you got the right position and if you want, you are confident enough to do it. I'm just going to mention it because it, it doesn't really matter, actually. It saves on your one second maybe if you got it perfectly 
well maybe maybe like two but uh -huh. so when you start it doesn't really matter and then you're gonna perform the next glitch so the second glitch is fairly easy really really easy actually we're just gonna do that go through the window and that's it so how do you do that you want to do running jumps against the window you don't want to do in the middle of a window like this it won't work you want to do on the side so the left or the right side doesn't matter at all as you can see if i go to the right side it will work so there is no problem so there is just one thing to know if you got this angle for example you will need two or three jumps to go uh three or four jumps sorry but if you have more like 45 degree angle like this you will do it only in two jumps so it will be a bit faster and that's basically it for this glitch there is almost nothing else to say about it nothing actually not even almost and then you're gonna go there prepare a flare to do a flare console after the next glitch next glitch is let's glitch sorry it's gonna be a ladder bug but this won't be like the diving area ladder bug diving area, area ladder bug sorry i can't speak if you try to do the diving area ladder bug i'm gonna show you what will happen oops please you will die falling to your death please lara don't 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 make your interesting please okay no, please come on Lara. okay anyway what's going to happen if you do diving area version is you're gonna go into the wall and you're gonna fall down to your death at the same spot you were so how do you do this one you start the same way you go until the, you go at the very right possible and you want to drop down as like diving area like this but you you want to stop pressing action earlier than in diving area and when i say earlier it's very earlier like if you look at a right pistol what you want to do is you want to stop holding action couple of frames after the right pistol is in the wall and you will see that it's really quick like you can see it's, it's really really quick and then what you want to do is you want like in diving area to hold forward press right but you want to hold it all the way through until she glitch up or it won't work so again up like this and you glitch up instantly and you want to flare console this tumble so again i'm gonna show you a couple of time oops so for example here that's what would happen with diving area style of ladder so when you fail the glitch i'm gonna try so if you fail the glitch like this you don't want to hold forward and left too long because if you do it too long she's gonna turn and until it to the wall and once it's done you will be rip so just press down oops and hold forward press right a couple of frames after the gun entering to the wall so the gun entering to the wall is just a visual point i found just five minutes ago but various people having some sort of visual point that are not the, the guns i personally do it by feeling so i can't really say what's the best one the best visual point but what i only know is you have to release action really early like here so as long as you release early it will work oops and this is pretty much all you need to know about this ladder bug yeah i knew it wouldn't work here Up here it will work oops okay never mind <laughs> never mind this is pretty hard to explain because the animation is 
really going quick, but if you do it too soon like this, it won't work still. So it's pretty precise, but once you got the hang of it, you will see that it's fairly easy. So one last time, climb up, 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 and you can stop the animation. And you keep going. You do running jumps, nothing special. And you have two way of doing the next part. We're gonna trigger a boulder, but you can skip the trigger first. But if you just go here, like in Fidget and Fidget, you go through the wall, 45 degrees roughly, and you will be able to keep making your way to the corridor. Or you can do the risky but faster strat, which is that. Oops, it's not that actually. You will trigger the boulder, but you will jump diagonally to time, and you will avoid it this way. It's fairly easy when you after you practice it a couple of times. It's just you run diagonally. You might take some small damage, but it will never kill you if you do it right. Like this. So this is hard to explain, but oops. So if you jump right and left, you will always be at the right spot, spot to jump over the boulder. But if you just do like this, it won't work, you'll be touched by the boulder. That's why you want to, to run and jump diagonally into the corridor. So that's basically it. Or you can also, I'm gonna show you after, or you can also jump over it. Oops, sorry, Let, let's pretend I did normally. You stop and you do a dive like this. So that works too. So one of his free choice, this is really as you want. And you keep going and you're gonna, um, I don't need to save actually. And you don't want to take those uh, flare because you're gonna take it later what you want to do is you want to avoid that boulder and you want to roll and get up get down to this ladder and go push this block so nothing fishy about this one this is fairly easy and you're gonna perform a crack bug like in great wall so you just go 45 degrees and you jump forward and as in Great Wall, if you aim too much to the left, you're gonna enter into the wall on void. So you don't want that to happen. So it's just roughly 45 degrees, and that's it. And because there's gonna be a guy triggering the next room, we're gonna trigger a monk. Which is which is gonna appear here. And this guy will trigger and the monk will kill the guy, and you're gonna take a prayer wheel. Easily. So the monk here, you have to know that he can't lose against this guy because monks against Uzi guys can be touch. They, they, they are not hit by the Uzi guys, basically. So, pretty easy. So you do this, this, and just one thing to know is that you want to jump over this fire thing, which are not light yet. But let's pretend that you stumble against this thing god please guys oh my god of course i don't stumble against it <laughs> i'm gonna show you so you, you don't need a flare here it's just to show you Let, let's pretend you stumble here against these things you just roll twice and you'll be able to do a stunning jump and keep going so if you if you just have trouble with those you just go against it roll twice and do a standing jump and you will be good and you take the prayer wheel and those things are gonna light up and the best way of doing it is to just step back and do two running jumps uh do a running jump and a standing jump sorry step back running jump and standing jump if you perform uh, um, a channel jump a channel jump sorry if you perform a tunnel jump, 
it didn't happen here but if you perform a tuna jump step back and do a standing jump again because if you if you immediately start to standing jump again you will be set on fire and you don't want that to happen anyway you make your way out of this place the same way you came just gonna crack back the same place so you have to really be careful about this one because this is really really easy to avoid in this one i'm gonna try to of course it didn't work but if you don't have a right position this will be really easy to avoid so of course i can't show it because the game don't like me but whatever also when you're coming from this place and you're going to the to the corner generally what you want to line up against a corner i'm going to try to find a corner for example if you want to line up against this corner you can just grab for example and you will be lined up with a corner but with this crack bug you don't want to do that because if you do that you'll be really likely to void so here it didn't happen of course but this is really easy to void if you grab at the end of this place so here for example i glitched directly but there is like at least 50 percent shares that you will void if you don't do it right so you, you, you it's better to take the stumble than try to grab you and when you do crack bag and you're gonna perform you're gonna prepare another flare i'm gonna perform the exact same ladder bug than previous than the last time up 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 exactly the same so climb go down hold forward and right and flare cancel and you're good the visual point is exactly the same so whatever you choose if it's a gun you use the gun again if it's feeling you feel it if it's something else do something else but it's exactly the same and you do two start two running jump and you land the flare if you can and then you go to the left and we almost done with the level just one last glitch well actually not one last glitch because we're gonna skip the level but yeah you do running jumps be careful if you're coming here if you skip the trigger because if you skip the trigger the first time the boulder is gonna fall behind you so just be careful about that and you're gonna perform a, um, a dive bug like in 40 fathoms so this is the same principle and there is two setup for it they start the same way so first setup is a bit longer but i'm still gonna show it first because some i saw some people still use it and second because i found it <laughs> so pretty proud of myself so you go to the very left here you climb you do one standing jump and one twist jump like this okay draw your guns and you're gonna prefer two times left so one two and draw your guns and you're gonna you're gonna buffer two times left again uh, actually you're gonna buffer one time left sorry you're gonna buffer one time left wait and buffer another time left sorry it's not two in a row and you're gonna perform a dive bug a dive so pretty easy and the other setup is starting the same except that you don't climb up you go back here and you want to do one side step right one side step left and you you climb again but you have to be careful you have to climb using the action button like this because if you don't i'm gonna show you what will happen if you don't that will happen and you can see that the position is really different than what you just had look at the difference between lara's left hand and the wall look at the difference between the two way of climbing 
this she's much more much closer to the left than previous so okay. this make a difference and you climb and then what you do is you do a walk jump and a standing jump and then you're gonna buffer well you're not gonna buffer but you're gonna pause here and you're gonna quit the pause and when you're gonna do you're gonna quit this pause you're gonna hold forward and right and do a jump like this and that's it so you have to know that you can do it without buffer let me show you if you press exactly right and forward at the same time but if this is precise so i really advise you when you start to use the buffer because this is just to save one second so sometimes it's not worth dying for this also you have to wait until the standing jump animation is completely over if you start for example jumping from this play from this it won't work like this for this will happen or even worse i'm gonna try to show you like this this won't work or you can't even go through it but you will die so you really need to wait until the animation is fully over so one last time buffer forward press right and jump and dive and you're good and then you're gonna go here you try to jump over the fence like this and if you can fail it easily like like this for example or you can even fail it you, you can even fall but behind the fence you have to know that it doesn't drain your health but it's just something that can happen but this is pretty easy this is just a matter of when you jump so i can't of course replicate it but trust me it can, it can happen like this for example so this is this is just a precise jumping depending on the sequence you want but you just want to jump over it and if you don't like jumping over the fence what you can just do is go to the stairs here and just go there so this is there is nothing to talk about and then you're going to perform the bark and skip so the bark and skip is fairly easy it's most simple glitch ever so we have one prayer wheel but you're gonna dupe them or we're gonna do that we're gonna use the first prayer wheel once so we are supposed to not have prayer wheels anymore but if you go oops please if you go at the second placement and you try to use the prayer wheel you won't have prayer wheels you will just have a seraph normally so you can't do anything right. and she won't don't want to use it but if you go to the menu manually without pressing the action button because as you could see that i use the action button to directly go into the inventory and have a right key but you you don't have to do that to go to the, the key inventory you can go it manually like this you just press the inventory button press up and you will have um, you will have the item okay did i did i do something bad i think i saved and it canceled the yes it did of course uh give me a second so if you save it doesn't work anymore i didn't know that actually that's pretty interesting i discovered something doing this to toe so if you save during the bargain skip the bargain skip won't work so this is something really interesting to know so you use the prayer wheel once and instead of going into the menu using the action button you will go manually into the inventory and there will be a difference as you can see there is no seraph name under the seraph there is usually the 
the serif here and under it it's written serif but here is not the case why because the game consider that this item is a prayer wheel don't ask why this is just a matter of item positions and it's not really that interesting so but it, it works and what you can do it is you can use a serif as a prayer wheel so it's like having one prayer wheel is like having five prayer wheel and you do that for all the prayer wheels so you will see the difference if i press action here the serif will be written as you can see but if i go into manually there won't be so this is the difference and this makes that you can skip the whole level fairly easily so you have to know that if you go into the app if you go into the inventory and go out of the inventory and try it again manually it won't cancel the glitch but if you use the item once going to the inventory with the action button for example if i press action a second time here the glitch will cancel and you won't be able to make it so this is important that you don't make that mistake and you use the prayer wheels and you go to the end of the level using the serif and that's pretty much it uh, there is one last trick so you can do you can go here go here and finish the level or you can press uh, back and for uh, back and right and draw your guns if you want to you don't have to actually to jump directly over the fence here and finish the level so this is fairly easy just up like this and jump forward and you're good and you finish the level and that was park and monastery so that's it there is if you have any question as usual go into the commentary section and etc and thanks a lot for watching guys and see you next time